Okay, um, I'm having a hard time sleeping, so I wanted to do a video while I had time. Um, I'm going to apologize if you hear a cat crying outside my window. I don't know where it came from. It just won't stop yelling out there. Um, so this video is going to be, I'm freezing, sorry. <laughs> this video is going to be about um, how to manifest your um, ideal person um, uh, relationship. And um, <clears throat> I have, a, uh, I would say I have pretty good experience with this. I do believe that I did um, manifest uh, past relationships. And um, I just want to show you which techniques work for me. And I've actually advised uh, other people on how to do it before. And they said that it was pretty successful for them as well. Again, I can't guarantee the relationship's going to last or anything. I'm just saying that, that it, whatever it is that you desire can be um, created and then we just hope for the best after that right so <laughs> it's sort of like anything um the cat i'm sorry maybe it's in heat or something i don't really know but it's doing out there anyway so um what i what i really like to do first um as you guys know is scripting i believe they call it in some things i i i always called it a petition but i was taught by um a completely different sort of um, uh, mentor than you know what I what I see on YouTube so um, you would take a paper and a pen and you're going to write down um, very specifically what you're looking for um, and this can be by the way a specific person of your choice like if you're if your relationship isn't um, going maybe the way that you'd like it to or what have you you can use a specific person but as you guys know I always think that this is a super bad idea and do but you but you can so do whatever you like so basically I would take um, I'm sorry I'm so tired <laughs> so basically I would take a piece of paper and a pen and I write down exactly what I want um, in this person that I'm trying to create like if this was um, a, a painting what would this person look like um, what would this person uh, do for a living? Do they have, are they divorced? Are they, do they have children? Do, um, do they, what kind of car do they drive? What sort of um, hobbies do they have? You know, things like get really, really, really specific. I can't stress this enough because in previous situations, um, I have left things out and then met somebody and go, oh yeah, like I definitely created you in my head. Um, but I missed something, you know, that kind of thing. And and the same thing happens with Lou and Arwen and them when, when I tell them to write their petition um, for their ideal partner, they always miss something, you know. Loyalty is a good one to start with, guys. I'm just going to say, you know, just from experience. So um, I don't typically write down anything. I don't, I don't actually remember a time where I wrote down like visually what the person looked like just because that's not like something that drives me um, yes it's nice to have like a partner that's attractive but it's not like a priority for me um, I really need like um, like a mental st stimulation and spirituality and you know that that spark of some sort you know something that really like drives you to to want to be around them and whatnot but looks are just a bonus in my opinion so uh, anyway so that's uh, you guys didn't even need to that. so basically so write down everything that you want when you're done fold it up okay um write it down as if you already know this person like so it, it's already happened so you know like jim bob with dark hair works for ups you know something like that you know um as if he like he or she already exists okay the damn cat anyway so then after I do that I fold it up I kind of put it somewhere for a few days um, typically I'll go and burn it later but you don't have to do this you can just keep it you can look back on it later um, it, to see if you got what you asked for that's always fun um, I don't like to type anything on my phone for some reason I just doesn't do anything for me I don't feel like it's as successful and I don't know if that's just like one of my mental blocks or whatnot the other thing that I do is um, I meditate um, probably for like a week. I'll meditate and when I get done meditating, I'm going to manifest it. Meaning, um, please shut up. Um, 
meaning I, after I'm in meditation and I've cleared my head and I'm focused, I start visualizing, again, I don't know what this person looks like at the time, so I just kind of visualize like an outline of whoever this is, um, but being able to feel his energy, I'm saying him because that's, you know, her, do whatever you want, you know, um, so I can feel like what that energy would feel like. I guess that's the best way I can explain it. Again, if you have like a visual, it's probably a little easier. You know what you like. But for me, I just like to think of an outline. That outline of this person is like um, like their soul to me. So then I start um, like preparing, I guess, in my head what it would feel like. I, I, I start getting excited, like what things are we going to do together? Um, you know, what are the words he's going to say to me? Blah, 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 blah. And it just kind of goes on from there. And then when you get that like um, excitement, like as if it's actually happening, when you feel you build that excitement, I just hold it for as long as I possibly can. Like I think th somewhere they say there's a specific amount of time. And again, I don't know if this is just something that is is just made up like you don't really have to hold it for a specific amount of time but I like to it helps me mentally you know so I always say okay I've held it for like 20 seconds and then I let it go and I go about my business and I don't think about it past that week after once once I've done it for the full week and I got the feelings um, I just let it go and and wait for it to happen it it does work guys it really does work I know it sounds like absolutely ludicrous but um it 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 always has like it it's really funny um so i think that perhaps you know my best advice is get super specific cuz you know you might end up with like the best you know girlfriend in the world and then you're like oh shit i forgot um she can't do cocaine i forgot to add that you know something ridiculous that you're like oh jesus christ yeah so Anyway, I hope this helps, and uh, I'm going to attempt to have some kava and get some sleep.